What's going on everyone? Roger here. Um, I was gonna walk you through a how-to video today. I got my Rubicon here and if you notice this is really gray. It tends to happen with these Jeeps and so we're gonna actually paint that uh, with a five dollar can of Rust-Oleum paint and so we'll see how it goes. All right so I just finished taping the fog lights uh, made sure to get all the way around, left, left no open areas where the paint can go through at. And I also rubbed this down with rubbing alcohol to remove all the dirt and grime that was on it. So we just got to tape off this front grill and we are good to go. Alright guys, I had to move it into the garage because it looks like it was going to rain and it needs to sit for a couple hours. So I got everything taped off here, headlights are good, put a trash bag over the front. Um, and uh, I, I decided not to go ahead and tape up the tow hooks. I'm going to paint them just because. But just start here. And also this is the paint and primer. Just a flat black. Cost me five bucks to buy. And then light coats. Okay, so far so good. I'm probably going to do at least another two after this one just to make sure I get it good. It is important that you go ahead and rub the whole thing down just with alcohol to remove everything. But I'm going to finish painting this and then we're going to check up on it and see how it looks after it's done. What's up guys, it's Roger here. So I actually, uh, it's the next day. It started to rain some last night and it was getting so late, so I went in, but this is it. The finished product dried great. I've let it set overnight. And so it looks really good too. So altogether, it probably cost me less than 10 bucks to do that and it looks great. So I recommend if you're looking to just touch up your front and back bumpers, uh, give it a shot. Just buy a can of that spray paint, tape it off, and go to town. So thanks for joining me, guys. I'll be posting more video updates. Uh, this is my first one, so let me know how I did. Peace.